so how I do my split is I go two days heavy, Monday, Wednesday, squat and bench on Monday, and then deadlift on Wednesday heavy, and then Fridays I go, I go light on squat bench, and then Saturdays light on deadlift. Today we're gonna squat and bench. It's gonna be a lot lighter. The same reps that we did on Monday, three sets of eight, and then we'll do heavy accessories. So yeah, so too heavy, too light. High bar squat, I'm trying to get a comfortable position on my traps in between my traps and my upper shoulders to set the bar on and squeezing the back as tight as possible so you have like a, a firm shelf. And I usually like kind of like massage it into the right spot. And because of my shoulder injury, I can't get my hands in as close as I want. So it's part of my tightening process. Squeezing my back, massaging it in. I like to squeeze the glutes and bend at the knee and not the hip. I used to drive my hips back and do more of a good morning style squat. But I've been focusing on my quad strength because my, my back strength would overtake my quad strength. So I've been focusing on staying more upright, bending at the knees and not hinging at the hips first. And really keeping the back upright on, on the squat instead of rounding, having the weight over my shoulders, keeping the back up. Taking a deep breath, core, squeezing the glutes, breaking at the knees first. On the, on the way to a big squat one day. So today, we're working out with Robert, badass. There he is. This is literally, literally his last name, just without the S's. I like to pull my, my scapula or pull my shoulder blades back together. I like to dig it into the bench and then arch my back uh, as much as I can. And that, I, I don't do the like 90 degrees. I bring my elbows in to get more leverage on my bench. Not that I have a good bench because I have one arm that works, one that doesn't. But. So it's 